Hi, I'm Matt Hillebrand with Don's Appliances, joined by our Cannonsburg associate, Rob Sovic. Good morning. Good morning, Rob. And um, just continuing a conversation we were having about our favorite appliances and favorite cooking appliance, right? So if you, you know, you have a range at home, right? Mm -hmm. So what do you like, gas or electric? Uh, we're, I'm a gas man, for sure. Uh, we had a, we've always had gas ranges and this most recent kitchen redo, not remodel. We sized up to a 36 inch to gain a little bit of extra space, get some higher BTUs, get that larger oven for my wife's baking. Uh, we just, we prefer gas and gas was there too. Uh, running a 220 to do the induction was a lot of work to do. And so we decided against that, but we've been very happy with it. What about so, you? So I like, I prefer on my service burners, I prefer uh, induction. And I grew up in a house, my mom always had gas. And when I got married, my wife always had electric. So my wife does most of the cooking. So we migrated to electric and then ultimately we've gone with induction. And the cleanability of induction mm. is incredible. Things don't stick to our glass top. We don't have grates to worry about cleaning. There is instantaneous heat. We're boiling water in two and a half minutes. Uh, everything about our induction top, I'm a huge, huge fan of. I, I can see, though, how you like the gas because you can see what the flame is, mm -hmm. you know, and, and you've got that, that, that capability of, of pan searing things. You can do it with induction, but being able to kind of shift the pan on a grate which a lot of people like to do, you're not going to be able to do that on induction or electric. Yeah, that's true. And, and I, you got to understand, though, about when we were shopping, it was almost three years ago at this point, a 36-inch induction range, there, there was huge one. Huge There was cost. one, maybe? Yes, huge and it cost. it was difference. a lot. Yeah, <laughs> so, so to your point, you know, there is definitely a huge cost difference to step into an induction range or an induction cooktop versus a gas. Now... Do you like electric ovens or gas ovens? We are, we do a lot more roasting. We do a lot more broiling. So we do prefer gas for the ovens. My wife is a baker, but that's a, you know, a 10 to one ratio probably. So she can get pretty close to electric results out of a convection gas oven, but it'd be really hard to try and get the kind of roasting that we get out of an electric oven. Yeah. And what's interesting is, is, and this goes back years, you know, there's that whole discussion electric for baking mm. or electric for more even heat and convection to your point has pretty much made that a moot point because you don't get those hot spots in a gas oven mm -mm. with convection because you're moving that air throughout the oven interior but the other thing is you're getting a moist heat right right so for baking gas is a moister heat inside versus electric which is a drier heat mm -hmm. so you know there's there's a lot to be said for for preferences but uh you know just however you decide to go whatever fits your budget or or your design stuff. if you're in a wall you're getting electric correct you know? yeah so wall units are all going to be electric and you know if you're doing a range you can decide which way to go uh now moving forward um microwaves hmm. right so what's your preference on a microwave I, I prefer microwave drawer. I work a lot with the design community. That's where they all went. And they went in that direction for probably the last 10 years at this point. So it just was what I was used to. And then getting it off the counter and obviously over a 36 inch range, that's out of the question. Uh, and we didn't have a wall cabinet to put like a speed oven or a drop door. Now, if I had a blank canvas, speed oven all day, personally, in my opinion. Speed you? oven meaning... Um you can use it as an oven. Just just explain it's, a little bit what a speed oven a is. A speed oven is essentially a very small cavity oven that has a convection element and a broiler, but it also has a microwave element too. So it's really an oven that can do microwave things opposed to a convection microwave, which is a microwave that can do a couple of oven things. Great point, great point. Now, I, to your point, I prefer the, the microwave drawers. Um, I am not a fan of put a micro, putting a microwave at eye level or above. Mm. Uh, there's nothing worse than trying to pull a bowl of soup from a high height. I'm not a fan of the over the range microwaves, even though a lot of times that's the only place you can put a microwave. I prefer lifting up from underneath the counter and setting a hot plate or a hot bowl on the countertop. 
Uh, now, I will say, air fry, mm. I know some of our drawers are going to uh, either, they're going to be coming with air fry. Uh, I think that is the coolest new feature in a microwave. So be sure to check out air fry. Um, now, I'm going to move on. You know, the, the next appliance, you know, we kind of touched on washing machines, front load versus top load. Uh, what about a dryer, right? Steam dryer mm. versus non-steam in a dryer. Me personally, I mean, we would never buy a non-steam dryer. Uh, we, we utilize that steam refresh at least every day, maybe multiple times a day. So uh, realistically, every dryer I've ever bought is just the match to the washer that we bought. But it, it, they were always steam, and we've just come to be used to having that cycle. Yeah, and the steam, the nice thing about the steam inside a dryer is that it will help to relax wrinkles. And that's a key word I always yes. say. It is not an ironing solution. It is not inside. a dry cleaner. It is not yeah. exactly True. inside your dryer. It is designed to help relax wrinkles from cottons like t-shirts or polos or slacks. So just keep that in mind. But I love the steam refresh inside mm. a dryer. Totally agree with you. I've got that in my dryer. So I highly, highly recommend it. Uh, let's continue moving on. I'm a big vacuum guy, mm. love vacuums. So uh, canister versus upright versus stick broom. Well, it's kind of changed for me over the years. You know, we, we had an upright, we went to the canister, and then the home grew, so to speak. We, we're now a stick vac family. We have a meal of Triflex, and I'll tell you what, like, I, I mean, 99% of what we need done on a daily basis, the Triflex can handle, and on one battery, too. So, so lightweight, so versatile, We love, and we have two dogs as well, so the filtration in there is pretty great, too. Love the Triflex. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. I have a Triflex as well. We've got hardwood. We've got throw rugs. Uh, now, my wife, we still have our Mila canister, mm -hmm. which we use in our bedrooms for carpeting. So what I love about the, the Miele canister is that you're not going to get a better cleaning vacuum on the market oh, no. because of the airflow that goes through that canister. But you're also getting that airflow through the TriFlex stick broom. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you want to know more about that, you got to go to donsappliances.com. Go to our back section. You'll see exactly what we're talking about. This is really, really cool. I've always been a huge vac guy. Or come to Cannonsburg. We have a wall of Miele vacuums ready for you. Any of our stores. But to your point, yeah, Canister does Mostly have a, uh, a great uh, shameless plug for Cannonsburg. <laughs> I love it. Um, but, yeah, a lot of our locations do have the, the vacuums. But, uh, you know, Miele is, is by far, I think, the best vac out there. For sure. And uh, Miele is still a family-owned business. They're all, you know made by Mila, so great facts. If you have any questions about what we've discussed, go to donsappliances.com, go to our YouTube channel. You know, we'd love to hear comments, uh, anything you want us to talk about, any videos. Rob, thanks for joining me. And again, thank you at home.